Good morning, everyone. I'm just having my morning coffee and looking at this clock. I'm going to start playing with this one today. Um, this is a E. Schmeckenbecker with the Oompa players that turn around in the top. The Oompa players have been hard for me to find. Sometimes you can find the band members along the front and they turn just left and right and all four of them are lined up in front. But this one's got the circular top and they turn, look at you and then turn and go back. <clears throat> so I had to order a few things. There was no pendulum. There was no, there was one chain. So at least I knew <clears throat> what size chain to buy and there were no weights with it. Um, so I've got the chains on. Thought I would play with it and see what it would do. Oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> the, um, The gong definitely needs to be adjusted in the back. It's very flat sounding. So on the half hour it just does one time and then on the hour it's going to play music. So it's going to be time to take it apart and give it a good cleaning and uh, oiling and get it back together. <clears throat> All right, I turn this around. I hooked my weights back up, put my pendulum back on, got it started, and left to go do something for a few minutes, and then it was stopped when I came back. So it definitely needs to be serviced. The first thing we see back here... Um, is that it's a regular 25, a one-day movement. <clears throat> and it says 73 next to it, so that was the year it was made. And it was made for the E. Schmeckenbecker Company. Let me move my little weight here, my little level. And I'm going to activate it so that y'all can see. I guess I zoomed too close, to it, not Let me zoom back out a little bit. All right, so we'll turn the hands and we can watch it from the back side. That was the half hour. There it goes, finally. It's, it's pretty far off. It's got to go about six minutes after before it, it will go off. See, it bogs down right there. So something is rubbing that shouldn't be. Alright, so I'm going to get this back off the test stand and take those... Um, whistle box is out so I can start taking this apart.
believe these were glued as well as stapled and screwed. And I really want to get them out because these look like the original leather on there that's still in good shape. I don't want to tear it up trying to get this out. I don't want to pry too hard on this plastic and break it. It is on there. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a putty knife or something broader to get behind there. I took the bellows lift wires off and I'm going to loosen up this music box and see about taking it out. <clears throat> it's not glued in. Um, and see if I can maneuver this out of here. should be all that's holding it. This wheel, this wheel just ties into that one to turn the music. This looks like it just slides and sits on there. It's not clamped, so we should be good to take this out. There's a washer on each one of these screws so that it won't pull through the case when it's adjusted right. Oh yeah, more glue. <laughs> okay. Definitely going to have to get the putty knife. I could not find a putty knife anywhere. I know we have a couple of them and I uh, can't find any. I searched everywhere. But I did find um, a box cutter. So I use that to get behind here and try to get the glue to separate a little bit and then I'll be able to get a screwdriver back there. If I just put the screwdriver back there and pry, I'm going to have a big gouge in my wood. So I'm trying to not bend the wood up too much. I don't know why they glued and did all this. But obviously no one has been in here to work on it since they put it together or this would have already been undone. Unless someone glued it when they put it back together, but I don't think so. <sighs> okay. There's my offending glue right there. Alright, well my wood block slipped down in there. Didn't bend it up too much. And now my music box is ready to come off and I can clean that up. A little gunky on the sides. I want it to turn good. There's no governor on this drum that shuts off the music. It's all controlled over here. So we'll get into, I'll get this one off, and then we will get into what this does, how this, this is the governor for it over here, not on the music box itself. All right, there are four screws holding this movement and this top piece in. These two screws are at the bottom of this circular movement, and that is attached to this frame, I believe, on this plate right here. This black frame comes from the front of the movement and around, 
and goes to the front of the clock and has little prongs to hold these screws. So loosen these two, two at the bottom right here, and I'm ready to lift this out. And I feel better now that I got these out of my way because I don't want to mess up anything. They're just sitting in the hole still. And I'm going to go ahead and take this pendulum leader wire off if I can get in there. Normally you can get a small screwdriver in there and just twist it and it'll open enough to let you get it off of there. always go the wrong direction. <laughs> I think, oh, I'll slide it off this way. Nope, it does not go. I don't know. Doesn't want to go any which way off of here. There it goes. It does come off the bottom. So I'm going to lift and what am I hitting? Oh, my little person is not coming through the hole up front. Okay. And then I'm going to turn sideways to get the bird post out from behind the other bellows and then the lift wire I came around it. There's my little bird. First time seeing that little guy. I kind of wiped this off a little bit previously. It was very dusty. Tops of their hats and everything. So I'm going to take these little people off and clean it more. Let me make sure I've got all four screws before I go any further. I see two. It's hard to put the movement back in if you lose the movement screws. I see one on the movement. There's the other one. All right. And this one chain hung up on me when I was trying to take the chains off. So now we are ready to take a look at this dirty thing. Um, when I set this box here to work, this shelf is already a little bit loose. It's stapled on also. I can't get it in the camera. Alright. So, this there's little staples in the wood right here on the side of this balcony and it's a little wobbly where it's been laid on its face before so I took this rolled up bubble paper to lay it down and try to give it a little bit of cushion and not put more weight on this and I can see inside the wood right here there's a crack where it's started to break loose I don't feel the staple on the inside they use I can feel that one a tiny bit so this side's pulled out just a little bit and I may just take that off and put some wood glue under it and then put it back on to hold it secure. I don't want it wobbly. But overall, it's in really good shape. One little crack there. Little bits of cracks there just from being dry. Not like it's fallen, but like it's just dried out. I've gone over it one time with the Howard's Feed and Wax and it has soaked it all up, so I'll be going over everything a second time including inside here and cleaning everything up good. So now that I've got it out, I'm just checking a few things. 
one thing I want to check before I take it apart is when it's in the stopped position, where are my levers? And both levers for the lift arms are on the same peg. And the gong lever is about two millimeter gap between the, the star uh, little peg and the arm of this. So I'll get pictures before I take anything all apart, but things to notice there. And then a function test on the front. If I put some pressure on this wheel. It drops nicely. The arm of this is Sorry, someone just got home. It drops nicely. The arm of this comes up and stops the fan from turning. It has pulled it. This is the governor for your fan. I mean for your <laughs> music box. It has pulled this up and out of that little groove that's your shut off. So it is ready to go when this is done. When this drops back down underneath here, um, it'll release the fan and it'll start turning. So I'm going to try to do all that. If I turn it the right way, it helps. And then these little guys are ready to turn. So all of those guys are turning good. My wheel looks a little, the top plate and the bottom plate look a little bit off. Um, so something may be bent up under there. Uh, there's two white plastic wheels under here that are making this movement turn. So those are important to check and make sure they're not cracked. And then it's coming around shuts off catches nicely so the function of this is good it's just going to be taking it apart and cleaning cleaning so I think I'll slip this off first so I can see where some levers catch in here um, this should be the same as a regular cuckoo clock. This lifts when the hurricane symbol on the bottom of this has a short and a long tab, a cam, and when the long cam, when the short cam goes off, it lifts it just one little hoop and lets it cuckoo one time. And then when the long cam comes around, it lifts it higher and lets it fall down onto the snail. This is called the snail. This is the rack. And I am right to your, what's important to notice too, when you put it back together, you're going to be trying to match this up the same. It looks like it's, I'm, I'm right at the bottom of this peak would be um, my 11 o'clock. This was 12 o'clock, this last section before it goes up. So it looks like it's right at the bottom of that last point so that it's got plenty of room to turn as it rises to go to the 1231 o'clock. And other than that, I mean, these levers are the same as any cuckoo clock. They're just longer and they have some little arms on them that work on this governor over here. So we're going to investigate. Maybe I'll just take the front off so we can investigate these a little bit better. I was messing with it a little bit more. So Mark, this part is for you. This, um, well now it won't turn. Here we go. Turn. Oh, I'm going to have to release the whole thing again. Hang on. So, Mark, this part's for you. This wheel turns towards the front. 
There's a wheel here and then a plastic wheel here that's just for the fan regulation. When you come, when I lay it all the way down, it doesn't want to go. I need to show you the bottom. Trying to find somewhere to hold it is not easy. Okay, I hit that guy again. Okay. Now, maybe I can show you. So, everything works off of this um, <clears throat> ratchet wheel. It's got the shutoff. It also has the bar that comes over with a little gear here that hits that small gear that runs up the side and turns the top, continues over to this gear, turns the music box. So it's all off of this. So the only thing I can figure, Mark, is you, when you took this piece off, maybe you got it put on backwards, and so when your wheel turns, it's turning your guys the wrong direction. So I would check this piece right here on yours. All right, let's start taking this apart. Get a little bird loose first. Everything's so dusty and dirty. All the people. supposed to just pull off. I had them off before, I thought. I guess I didn't take them off. I know I've, tur I've turned one or two of them to a new position. I guess I just put them on too hard. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Slowly rising. With it being plastic, I don't want to break it. Okay. I don't think he was supposed to come out right there. This little clip off and see if I can do something different. I've sent many of these little clips flying. That's the easiest way I've found to get it off is with a screwdriver. Okay, so a few pieces. That just pushes in. these <clears throat> this is the one I took off this is the little pieces at the bottom when it hits these it makes it turn I guess there's one underneath to turn it when it gets to the front and to turn it back when it gets to the side to go through the door. 
So anyway, I'm going to try to put that guy back on. I really would like to get it clean first. Okay, and my wheel looks good, no cracks. Two little nuts right there to take this off. Sides loose. Need that third hand. spinning it's not uh, not coming off under it.
be a clip inside on that one. On the back. And on the back. Yep, I need that special tool for this. Might just have that in my new little tools I got. Hang on. Well, that was the hardest clip I've ever taken off. You can see it's pretty mangled. That was my first E-clip ever, or C-clip, or whatever you call that thing. Double E, I don't know. This one I got off a little bit bit better but it took me and my husband twisting and doing things we used multiple tools and finally got the two ends if you can if you can get one a little bit higher than the other it loosens it enough you can kind of work it up the top of the post and get it off so that was a lot to get that off That's not going to come off without my post coming off. Okay. So the post has the round cut out down. And then this lever on the back has a button that sticks up that holds the bird out when it's time. Right there. loose enough. I don't know if this one is. Yes. So then this will come off. These are riveted on so this is not going to come off. This has got a pressure fitting underneath. So I could take the plastic wheel off. Okay, so the governor assembly is held on with the nuts that hold the two pieces together. So I'm gonna take that off next. Post is too close, I can't get on. There we go. Oh, I got it loose. That's good.
use my spring. I feel like I'm doing surgery today, man. snug. Okay. It's my first regular movement that I've worked on, and it is challenging. Everyone says the Hubert hers are challenging and this and that, but this one is not a piece of cake. If you worked on them all the time, I think it would not be difficult, but... Well, that's the general idea. I'm going to continue that until I get that off. All right, it took much finesse once again. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you what I used, but now I can't find it. Here it is. It's a little tiny. It says Sheffield, England on it. It was in the latest tool lot that I got, but it's totally round, so it's not... Um, putting any marks on your parts and I was able to grab hold of it and hold the bottom and twist it off. And I would 
be amazed if my plate was not bent. This has been quite an adventure. Not super dirty. Looks like it wasn't run much after the first five years or so. There's not much wear looking to it. Not much oil on it. Okay, I'm going to put this little screw back in here so I do not lose that. All right, so now I'm going to take another picture and a little hair in here. Cuckoo clocks are good about pulling up whatever's on the floor when it goes all the way to the floor and then comes back up. It pulls things into your movement. That's why they say to service them every five years. from other people's videos of, of working on these movements with this type of dancer platform on top. This little lever is very important. And when you put this wheel back on, you, I think people naturally put this cam, well, I didn't take the front off, so I can't show you the cam. Uh, the little, the little Pac-Man's on the other side of that wheel. So if I slip that off, I will be able to get this wheel out. And there's a cam on it that's it's pretty long. And I think people just naturally line it up to go up and down so that you make sure it goes under here. But for this to catch, it's got to be side to side to make the bird door work properly. So I'm just going to separate these parts out into the um, time side and the strike side, cuckoo side, and get it busy cleaning. I have cleaned this, um, cleaned the pivot holes, checked my pivots, make sure they were not bent and not grooved, and um, I've set the pieces back in here. Luckily I took good pictures with the face off because I had this little thing upside down. This seems to be the only really tricky part of this movement because on this side, on the time side, you've got the, the ratchet wheel, one other wheel, and then your escapement wheel. So very simple on this side and then your verge and crutch. But then on this side, you've got your ratchet wheel. You've got the one that's got the um, arm that goes underneath it. And you've got this little arm and this little arm. One more wheel with a pin on the bottom of it, so I'm curious where that's going to end up fitting. And then your governor fan, I mean your fan. Um, so I just want to kind of set it together and see how it's going to do. I did not um, take this all apart. I just dunked it whole and brushed it up and cleaned it up. So... I don't trust all this 50-year-old plastic that it's not going to get brittle and do something. Um, so I did not take this off. I just put it in the ultrasound up to here and left this part sticking out. And because I can see when I turn it, I can see a crack all the way down right there. 
and one right across from it. So this thing has cracks in the plastic. I can't feel them. They're not, they're not a problem yet. But if I try to pull this off and push it back on, they'll be a problem. So all of that stayed together. Um, so my plan is to just uh, put the nuts back on here without this and see what's going on with that pin on the third wheel.